Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, I'm Donna Lynn from Vigor and Trim, fitness and health membership site for people over 50, just like you and me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you are at Celebrating Act 2. This is short and sweet where I show you an exercise tip and a nutritional tip so that you can stay healthy and strong. Today, we're going to work again on balance because we need to keep that proprioception in place or our sense of where we are in space. We need to know that nicely so we can move well and not trip and fall and fall down and all that other stuff. Anyways, we can do exercises. The good news is that exercises and exercise always come to the rescue. If there's any fountain of youth, exercise is it. Anyways, exercise actually helps maintain that balance, and we're going to work on one today. So let's get going. Now this one, you can do this one up against a wall if you want to first to try it out, right? And eventually you want to get away from that wall, okay? And we're going to start at different levels too, so that it won't be so scary. <laughs> All right, now we're going to try to shift our weight to one side. We're going to take that foot and really spread it out and then grab the floor with your toes. All right, now you're going to walk, work up the leg and tighten up your quadricep. Feel as though you're pulling your quadricep off of your knee. Try to pull that up off your knee. All right, now you're going to lift the ribs up out of the hips by pulling up from the pelvic floor, squeezing that little ball right here in the abdominals, and then knitting the ribs together. Now, once you have all that in place, then we're going to take this leg, and we're just going to put the toe down on the floor and put the ankle against the other ankle or maybe a little bit above. All right, now that would be your first place. Now we're going to try to keep those hips facing me, or your headlights, what we call headlights straight forward. But you want to open this leg. So work on opening that leg a little more. Now what does this pose do? Well, this pose helps those feet. And that's the foundation of our whole body, right? So we really don't pay enough attention to those feet, and it's about time we do. All right, so I'm going to then, if this is good, I'm going to then move that leg up a little bit, maybe to the calf, all right? Hold that there. Okay, let me try to just get that into a position where I can feel good and safe with that. Good, right there. I'm going to put that up there, good? And then now I can move up this leg with my other foot as I feel uh comfortable with that, right? So if I were, for instance, going to stand against this wall so I can stand up and show you how to do this. <laughs> hey, you know, things happen. All right, now we're just going to work on moving that leg up higher and higher. All right, and I'm going to then bring that leg up even higher, maybe up all the way into my groin. All right, and I'm going to pull this leg out, stand up nice and tall, knit everything together. Right now, my hands can just stay right here, and as I get better at this, I can bring them here and maybe even over my head. All right, we're out. Okay, try different positions with this. That's great. Now, you might recognize that pose as a tree pose. Yes, it is. That works really well on your balance. So today, we are going to talk about metabolic flexibility. Now, what is that? Well, you know, when we eat food, it does a chemical reaction in the old body and different chemicals come in there and it makes energy, right? Well, depending on what food we eat, we store it differently in our body or use it differently. And we can actually go from one source of energy to another if we have metabolic flexibility. So that means we don't have to just use glucose from eating carbohydrates, we can use fats from eating fats and amino acids from eating proteins. We can use all of those sources of energy in our body when we're metabolically flexible. Now, when we're not, then we just use one type. So generally that's the glucose. And that comes from eating too many processed foods, high carbohydrates, you get body gets used to just working on that one source. And then what happens is it doesn't burn the fat. Then we don't get to burn that fat. 
we just are always burning glucose. There's so much glucose there that there's no chance for the body to burn the fat. Not only that, doesn't know how anymore. So we want it to be flexible so that we can burn our stored fat. That's the whole idea, right? Yeah, yeah. So we have we can get more flexible by watching what we eat. So you lower those carbohydrates. And I do have a video on carbohydrate density. And you can also look that up. And that gives you a lower carbohydrate, but really good stuff for you too. Gives you all the things you need. It's just not so high, right? And then your cells will know what to do with it, right? They'll be able to process that into your body in the correct way, rather than this high carbohydrate, which gives you so much glucose, your cells can't push it out. The insulin pushes up and then finally your cells give up and say, oh, forget it. And you get insulin resistant, that leads to diabetes, et cetera, et cetera. All right, that's not the way we want to go. All right, so fruits and vegetables, you know this. <laughs> fruits and vegetables and a healthy, balanced diet, that's how you do it. All right, well, you know why I do this. I do this to keep you healthy and strong so that you can look good, move well, and feel good. I'm Donna Lynn. This is Short and Sweet. I look to see you next time. Bye-bye. For more on Celebrating Act 2, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.